I think something is going on with my pedals. Uh, maybe a sensor fault of some sort. At the very least, that spring is broken. So I think I will start by replacing the spring, see if that takes care of the issues that I see going down the road. If that does not fix it, then I'll start re replacing switches. Another quick video here on the 2009 Ford Focus. So I am uh, looking for sensors around the clutch pedal. I pulled this plastic panel off. I did not remove this, uh, although it would remove with a few screws. So on the clutch pedal here, we have the, um, so I'll just press, press the pedal so you can see what moves. So there's, it should be two switches and the um, master cylinder for the clutch. So this switch here is a safety switch for starting the vehicle. So it basically just says that you have pressed the clutch in. It doesn't say any more than that. Right behind it is the master cylinder right there. You can see it's, these are the brake lines or the uh, fluid lines for the clutch. The two green things there. So that is the cylinder, so it, it moves when I depress the clutch. And it has never given any trouble. Um, there's that safety switch right there. I can get a different, different view of it. That spring right there is broken. That spring normally connects to the top of the clutch. Uh, right. Sorry. Right there, it normally connects to that uh, the top of the linkage above the pivot, and it would help uh, return the pedal to to the upward position, to the normal position. So normally the spring would be pulling back a little bit there to lift that pedal up a little more. I'm not sure why it, it seems to work pretty well even without it, but uh, that is the next thing I'm going to replace. So that being said, the actual clutch pedal position sensor is to the right of the clutch pedal right there. That plunger right there. So I guess without that spring, you can see the clutch pedal rests right there. If the spring was pulling on it, it would go up a little more. So it, it does, it would make a difference to have that spring in there. I'm gonna replace this broken spring where it's hooked in. So behind the clutch pedal right up in there I think. Yep, there's there's the spring so I'm gonna reach up there see if I can get it out. You get the idea, um, I will <laughs> get that spring out. With a pair of pliers, I was eventually able to get the spring out, and this is what it looked like new from Ford. So you can see the part number is 5S4Z-7523-A. Unfortunately, according to FordParts.com and all my local Ford dealers and Napa and all the other parts stores that I called, this part was unavailable at the time when I was working on this. So I did have to look for a substitute. I took a spring that I had on hand and tried using it in place of like an OEM replacement spring. But you can see there's a difference here. The spring that I got out of this bag has the hooks opening both to the same side. As shown in the photo, they both open to the left. But the spring from Ford had hooks that opened in opposite directions. This was because of the way that it had to hook um, down over the pedal linkage. It had to hook to the right at the lower end, but to the left 
on the upper end. And so I did end up modifying this spring to try to mimic that geometry. And this is what it looked like after I had twisted one end around um, to get opposing hooks like the spring from Ford. The problem you'll see that I still ran into is that the spring just was not stiff enough. It really didn't have enough pull, but I did want to try it because it was the best option that I had that night when I was working on it. But you'll see what happens here in a minute. Okay, just uh, showing the spring that I just installed uh, on the clutch pedal. Basically the return spring to bring the pedal back back to the up position when you let your foot off of it. This was the old spring that had broken. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a very stiff spring. Uh, I did not have one this stiff, but what I did have uh, was similar in size. Otherwise, there's a little bit larger diameter, a little bit shorter, a little bit softer, um, but after a bunch of bending and prying and cramping working underneath the dash uh, there it is that's what it looks like it's hooked up on top of the pedal I'll move the pedal as you can see it see that there it's not um, it's not secured as well as the original because of the hooks I had to kind of bend the hooks a little bit to get them to work so you can see it's not not perfect, not ideal, but at least there's a spring on there now. Because it's not as stiff, it you can see it still doesn't pull the pedal up tight. It's better than it was, but not uh, not much better, I would say. Um, but at least there's something on there now, and I will keep an eye out for a better spring. Okay, we're back here working on the clutch pedal return spring. Um, the spring that I put on there last night is that I, I had to kind of fabricate. It is uh, not doing the job. It I finally got it in there, but you can see it doesn't take all the slop out of the pedal. So I'm thinking that I should not be able to move it like that. Um, because this is pretty much how it was before I put the spring on. So the original spring was was significantly stiffer than the one I put on last night. This is the original spring and it's pretty stiff. So today I went to Ace Hardware, got a spring that was about the same stiffness and I shortened it. So you can see it's pretty stiff. I shortened it to, to match the OEM spring, which is no longer available. And I bent the hooks in opposite directions of each other, just like the original spring was. And I even put little covers on the hooks. So. I'm going to try to uninstall the one from last night and install this one and we'll see how it goes. So first just take this cover back off. Okay, so thankfully the original or the first homemade spring that I put in there last night came out really easily. Uh, it came out a lot more easily than it went in. Uh, but here's a side-by-side -side of of the three different springs. So the original Ford spring, the shorter, softer spring that I made last night, and then the uh, correct length, firm spring that I made today. So I'm going to put number three on and uh, see what the play in the pedal looks like then. Okay, I just got back from a lunch break and decided to try to put the spring on again after some unsuccessful attempts before lunch and uh, I got it on so two two tricks I found one I used my hand and uh, kind of found where the lower hole was that was the hard part was getting the spring in the lower hole and so I took my hand and I just felt for where that hole was exactly and it was a little bit further back than I had um, originally thought and so I can, I could actually reach it with my fingers. So then I dropped the spring down there and uh, even though you can barely reach it, I just tried to, tried to twist the spring into that hole. Um, so still a blind operation, but 
I, I just, uh, you know, I got more accurate with where I was trying to get the spring. Uh, so then getting the top on was relatively easy. Uh, I hooked a screwdriver in, in the hook, pulled it up, and then took some pliers, grabbed the hook, and pushed it over while like, sliding the screwdriver back out. And you can see the result here. So it is um, on the better lighting uh, so it's on the hook there and I made the little rubber booties for it uh, out of some insulation from wire and sorry there you can in the dark see the the lower part of the spring so it's in there now and you know the the original question was does it take up the slop in the pedal so now if I pull up on the pedal there's no slot, so I can push it down, let up, and pull up. There's no slot, so there's that little bit of slot that was in it before, and the other spring just wouldn't quite lift up, uh, take up that little bit of slot. So I want to show you what the spring looks like in action. So I'm going to push, I'm going to hold my phone there and push down on the pedal. That's all the way down. That's all the way up. That's that little bit of slop. All the way down. All the way up. Okay. So now I just have to put everything back together. So, mission accomplished. And uh, again, this spring, the spring that I used uh, to recreate the Ford spring was from Ace Hardware, it was $1.80. Um, it was uh, a, I think it was a three and a half or four inch, I think it was a four inch spring, uh, half inch diameter, and the wire, the wire thickness um, was about 70 thousandths, something like that. It was, uh, it's an unusually stiff spring for that size, but it worked out, and like I said, I used some insulation from some black copper wire uh, to make the little booties over the hook to uh, to recreate this look from Ford, which I assume is just to prevent from scraping on metal pieces and making noise uh, while you're going down the road, or while you're using the pedal and working the spring. So it's a tight fit because the Ford spring was about, um, Three eighths or seven sixteenths, something like that diameter. It's a smaller diameter. Uh, you can see the difference between this. This was my first half inch spring, and this is the Ford spring. So it's 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 noticeable, uh, but that just makes it fit a little tight under there. But it does work. We'll see for how long. Until then, thumbs up.